Last week, we looked at four people who would profess to be a Christian. Well, of sorts. Do you remember them? Here they are. Fenster, Anya, Thornton and Kalina. And we found out that Kalina was the only one who was really desiring to follow Jesus closely and live as a Christian. So what does it mean to live as a Christian? Let's find out, shall we? Paul writing to the Romans in Romans chapter 8 verses 28 and 29. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Likewise to the Corinthian church, Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18, And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. When you became a Christian, you started an exciting journey in the Christian life. Success in the Christian life is not an accident. It is a direct result of living in harmony with the basic principles of life set forth in the Bible. The Christian life is not a matter of expecting spiritual maturity to occur overnight. The Bible lays down standards and principles of living which we need to follow with God's strength if we are to continue living at peace with God, our fellow men and ourselves. We need to know what God expects of us and what guidelines he has given us to achieve this quality of life. As we apply the principles and guidelines set out in the Bible to our lives, we are transformed into the likeness of Christ which is the journey we are on. And a happy and successful life is possible. Jesus himself said, I have come to bring them life in all its fullness. John 10 verse 10. How about that for a wow factor? This is achieved as we allow Jesus Christ to live this life through us so that we start to think and respond like he does to the people and circumstances around us. We need to learn how to see circumstances and people from God's perspective, rather than reacting on the basis of our feelings. When we respond to circumstances on the basis of our feelings, that is when conflict, stress, tension and depression enter. When we respond to circumstances by looking from God's perspective, it builds and shows a transformed character as we become more like Jesus Christ. And as we become more like Jesus Christ, it will permeate every aspect of our life, including our work, our job seeking, our leisure time, our play time, our home life, and our relationship with others. People will want to know why you and I are different. This town will be changed to the glory of God. How about that for a wow factor? Let's finish up by reading Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 to 14. And then we'll think silently to ourselves over a couple of questions. Paul writing in Colossians. For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you, and asking God to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding. And we pray this in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord, and may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and joyfully giving thanks to the Father, who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins.
our first question. How am I doing at living a life worthy and pleasing to Jesus and letting him have access to my work, my home life and my relationships with others? Question 2. How am I strengthened in my Christian life? And finally, question 3. When was the last time I expressed thanks to God the Father for my life as one of Jesus' followers? And now as we close, Let's have a song.